Good morning, you beautiful people. Ah, look at that sun, it's coming out. We're gonna get some vitamin D today. We haven't gotten much vitamin D here in New Hampshire for the last six months, so it feels rejuvenating. Wonder how the piglets are doing this morning. You guys and girls sleeping in, huh? Let's give them some feed. It's one thing I found with pigs. They like to sleep in in the morning. You want some feed? Come on. I'm gonna put it over here. Aw, oh, you sleepy. Did you pull an all-nighter? Oh, I had to come out last night at 11 and put them in the IBC tote. They were sleeping right there. I didn't want them sleeping outside in the cold, wet ground. Hey, crazy white chicken. That's pig feed, not chicken feed. <sighs> she likes hanging out with the pigs already. Is that nice and warm in there? Some good bedding? We need to come up with names for these guys. We got a male and a female piglet. We need to come up with some good names, food related. So pigs always love to sleep in, at least when they're piglets. Goats are early risers and chickens are early risers. I just find it funny that our piglets have always seemed to sleep in when they get older, like older, older, well, <laughs> six months, four months, six months old, they start waking up earlier. Are you girls ready? You've been waiting to come out. Hey, Hope, girls, Willow. Good, Hope, get up there. Go ahead. You gotta get over there so I can walk. I can't step on you. Hey, I was just gonna ask you if you were in a good mood this morning. You're not. Don't be tooty, fruity. I got some uh, sunflower seeds on your head there, buttercup. Blossom. Blossom to possum. Hope. You ready to have babies yet there, Willow? <clears throat> you gonna come out at all today? And they're like, nope, we're sleeping. We got the crazy white chicken that won't stay in New York City and likes hanging out with the piglets already. And we have one bard rock that does not want to go into New York City at night. <laughs> You're supposed to go in at night. That's the white chicken, guys. Yesterday she flew back in the fence to get the feed. Let's see if she does the same thing today. She's acting all nonchalant. Let's see. She's going for it. You know you want that feed. Look at that, right over the fence. I need to catch her, cut her wings so she can't fly. Last night she was sleeping on top of the pig's IBC tote. So I'll have to keep an eye out for her tonight if she does the same thing. I'll have to trim her wings up and put her in New York City. You're in for it now, girl. We trimmed her wings last year and it didn't keep her in. So I'm curious to see if it works this year. We'll try it and find out. Come on, Pluto. Let's go. All right, I've made the executive order. The meat birds are going in the greenhouse. What are you doing, Figaro? Where have you been? Huh? Where have you been? We ain't seen you too much this morning. We 
you were hiding on us? Or am I gonna see you in the video somewhere when I edit it? And I just didn't know you were there. That's usually what happens, dude. You're a little thirsty? Oh, I tell you, you gonna get wet feet. Oh, I told you you were gonna get wet feet, dude. I told you. Big they've gotten. Almost completely feathered out too. Nope, figure out. You can't come in for this. They're like, what do we do? Look at all the room we got. The other chicks don't like being by themselves. They're like, where'd everybody go? They'll stay in the basement in the chick brooder. Ah, let's get some more feed for the meat birds. You guys still haven't moved. I'll stick your feet right there. Look at all the room you got to explore. I'll check on you in a little bit, see how you're doing. <sighs> the weather has finally broke. We get to we transplant our tomatoes into bigger soil blocks today. And we'll keep them in the outdoor kitchen. We'll let them harden off out here. And then once our last frost date comes, we can get them in the garden. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. They're already starting to flower out. We're going to have tomatoes in no time once we get them in the garden. And then the peppers, they're doing awesome, too. Look at those bad Larrys. So should we bring all the tomatoes over first and we'll start with that batch? I'll start with this batch. What are we going to make us label? What are we going to make us label? New seeds. Now we get to start new seeds for the garden in the basin. Awesome. Let's get some more potting soil mix.
<laughs> this was made out of our kitchen table that we had in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It looks like it. <laughs> it is. It was free. It was. Can I put some meals in it now? Yep. Rooted in there good, huh? Yeah, rooted in there real good. The wind. It's good for him. They got him, Gary. I'm gonna go look at the pigs. Slow down. Stay over here. Go with Lemmy. Okay, so me and Pluto are going to go down and see the pigs. Piggies! Pluto, don't chase the white hen. Or the little white hen, whatever it's called. Hi, piggies! Hi, pigs! Last one we can do today. We used up all of our soil. Ready? Go. Our dynamite detonator. <laughs> oh, stuff came out that time. So we were able to get 18 large tomato plants transplanted over to the large soil blocks and then the rest of them we'll put in the smaller pots. But we need to go pick up some more potting mix so we can get some more seeds started in the next couple of days. Oh, I can't wait to get these peppers potted up. Those are looking so good. They're a nice dark green. I think the pigs are napping. Looks like they knocked over their water dish too. What are you doing? You napping where your water dish is supposed to be? What are you doing, crazy white chicken? Watch out, let me get where you are. I wanna go right there. Good.
need to add some blood meal to our garlic. I have a whole bunch of garlic planted in this bed, half of that bed, and then the far bed. And it's recommended to add a high nitrogen fertilizer around the base of each garlic plant in the springtime. We're using an organic blood meal. Does that smell good, Pluto? Don't smell good to me. Can you just move it away from it? Yeah. Mine is so, cause love don't lie. Oh, don't you know? I'm gonna love you when your day's been long. When you're stressed, when you're bad, and when you're wrong. I'm gonna love you for being on time. And I'll be yours and you'll be mine. I'm gonna love you. Said I was. That thing feels really healthy. You girls want some fresh water and hay? It's drying out pretty good. Hopefully, we don't get any rain. Buttercup. Hey, Hope. Willow, less than a week and you're, it's your due date. You yawning? Then you're gonna be a big sister, Buttercup. What do you think of that? You're an only child now, you're not gonna like it, are you? I was wondering if that was Olivia making all that noise, if that was the pigs. Both. Both of them. Oh. oh, I could hear her in the barn. I'm like, what is all that ruckus? Oh. You can talk pig? I guess so. You know what you say when you talk pig? No. No. They do though? I guess so. Hmm. Does that sun feel good, Hope? Yeah, I feel like it's like Arizona. They're still talking to you. They are. You're making some good compost in there? <laughs> what do you think of them, Tanner, huh? I don't like, it. like them. You don't like them? No. Oh, what is that? What is that? They're the same size. They are. But Not for long. Might be a little bit smaller. They'll outgrow him pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, he might already be small. Their tails are curled. They are, aren't it they? Take very long. No, it didn't take long at all. I said they're happy. They are. They really fill that up. They did. You're doing good. This one has like two black dots on the other half. Like on that. that is a big rock. They put that in there? Yeah. Tanner, they want to play with you. He says, no they. <laughs> you don't want to play with them? No. Okay. Oh, you're silly. Yeah, he's gonna touch that off. Yeah, don't forget to turn around like that. Yeah, he's gonna touch that. He'll learn. I don't wanna touch it. I don't know what he's gonna do. Don't touch his hands, dog. But that's too happy. Yeah, get out. It is off. Oh. It is off. Oh. Stop! 
<laughs> that would not have been funny if it wasn't. Yeah. What? The crazy white chickens back in New York City. She is crazy. She, crazy white chicken. she is, isn't she? Does he do that to me? Does he do that to you? No. I was fine. I was not doing nothing. Yeah, that was Moose. I should say about that Moose. Yeah. Take too long in there, you don't like it? I guess so. <laughs> you tired, Figaro? Yeah, he stayed like that for a long time. Oh my so goodness. He pulled an all nighter last night, he I think. He pulled all nighter, then he comes and does this. And he sleeps all day. Yeah, he doesn't want to be inside at night. That's fine because he keeps us up. You're crazy. Oh, I love this time of the year. It seems like spring has finally sprung here in northern New Hampshire, at least for these last couple of days. I hope this weather stays good. We have a lot to do, a lot to accomplish, and it's going to be busy, but fun. One of the sayings I really enjoy reminding myself throughout this season is, nature doesn't hurry, yet everything gets accomplished. We need to remind ourselves that this can be a stressful time of the year, trying to get everything going, but it's going to get done. And if we forget a project or we don't get something planted, it's not the end of the world. That's what next year is for. We have so much to do. It's going to be so much fun. It just seems like everything's all at once. we got the piglets. The chickens are outside. I hope I didn't put them out there too early. I think they should be fine in the greenhouse. They should stay plenty warm enough at night in the greenhouse. We'll find out tomorrow. But remember, guys, you need to talk to yourself. I know it sounds a little odd, but we're always talking to ourselves in our head, whether we realize it or not. And we got to make sure we talk to ourselves the right way so we're always winning the victory. So well, thanks for watching and coming along on our journey with us, and we'll see you right back here in our next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.